Okay, this is a matrix for the cervical spine, for your neck. We're going to get more movement into the neck without moving the head. We're going to do it by using the shoulders, the thorax and the hips from below. So Kenzie here, my assistant, is going to show us what to do. The first two are going to be flexion and extension. What we're going to do is we're going to go for extension first, the hands start above the head and you lunge forward whilst maintaining your eyes on the junction between the ceiling and the wall. So way you go Kenzie. Good. Come back. No need to hold at the end of range here, just go into the movement, come straight back out of the movement. And then she's going to show you from the side. So, hold the last one for me there. So in this position, her back is going into flexion, but her head is going into extension. Imagine she's got a book on top of her head, and that's how she gets the neck extension, then come back out of it. Cool. Next one is going to be flexion, so she starts in a different position. The hands are going to end up above the head. Hands that start down by the side. She's going to look at the baseboard or the junction between the floor and the and these and the wall. So away you go. Nice. Good. And then go to the side. Hold the second one. And here you can see, with her arms going backwards, her back is going into uh, extension. But because her head is uh, as though there's a book on the top it's going into flexion, creating relative flexion in her, um, in her cervical spine. Good. The next plane we're going to look at is the transverse plane. So what we want is rotation through the thorax whilst keeping the head completely still. So bring your arms up to shoulder height, go forward with your right leg, and turn your hands to the right. Good, keeping your head completely still, perfect. Then come back out of that, and then go the other way. So left leg goes forward, hands go to the left. What she's doing here is she's keeping her head completely completely still, creating rotation up into her cervical spine, and come back out of there. Nice one. Okay, the last one we're going to do is the frontal plane. So what we want to do is create a left lateral flexion or right lateral flexion in the neck without moving the head. So if you step out to the right, good, keep your right hand up and put your left hand down here. So here her back is bending to the left but her head is keeping straight, so it is bending to the right. And then step into that a couple of times. Good, just one, two, and then go the other way. So she's trying to keep as parallel or as, as kind of in line as possible on that last one. Okay, I recommend doing these exercises for the first time, doing them about five in each direction, and you can progress up to ten in each direction. As always, if you experience any pain or discomfort, then just discontinue the exercise. But give it a go and see if it can help you.